If you go through life waiting for your purpose to bang you over the head, you will die unfulfilled. You do not have to be the smartest one in the room. The gift is in recognizing what you don't know and having the courage to go ask someone who does know. When you get on purpose, it's like, uh, the skies open up. This is Rick Sapio. Nice Rick. to meet you, Beth. Good to meet you. Beth, Beth basically runs the shop here, so. <laughs> I'm just curious, when you first heard about a billion entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. what, what were you thinking at the time, and what are you thinking now? I didn't get it. And after a number of conversations and also watching it play out, I get it a lot better now. If you're unleashing the potential of an individual, it's a good thing. Everybody benefits. The essence of our value as entrepreneurs is coming up with a, an idea that's so inspiring that it actually triggers dopamine in our soul. And another woman said, but how does that help us? We're just stay-at-home moms. You want to know what the definition of entrepreneurship is to me? It's taking responsibility for outcomes. I had a boss who at one point said he needed me. I felt very com comfortable in my position. And the next minute, I literally don't have a job. We lost our home. We were considering bankruptcy. We didn't know when we lost our home where we were going to live, where we were going to stay, what we were going to do. I had to teach myself new skills. What, how am I going to provide for my family? I then began to take ownership of myself. I didn't want to have that fear of losing a job ever happening again. I'm nine and my sister's seven years old and we want to change the world. It's about how many people in the world don't have access to clean water? 783 million. Do I consider myself to be your standard entrepreneur that most people think about? Uh, no. This idea of solving a problem that you feel passionate about, I think is the ultimate. Life doesn't guarantee that things are always going to be good. There's not a matter of if bad things are going to happen to you, it's a matter of when bad things will happen to you. How we handle those rough times and the bad things that come our way is a true test to our character. First of all, we want to, Patrick, Rick, and I all want to thank you all for spending your weekend with us. We know how valuable your time is. You could be spending time with family, but instead you're here learning and growing with us. We are looking for one billion entrepreneurs. Imagine an entrepreneur in every home.